wonder if, uh, how much longer can we expect to be in this solar storm? It looks like we'll be out of it momentarily, Captain. Engineer Briggs, is there anything still holding up okay down there okay? It's touch and go down here. The shielding of the system seems to be have quite a few failures, but the plasma has things really heating up in most systems. This is quite an intense storm, and it has me a bit worried. According to us in the Commander Yarba, we should be out of it very soon. So try to keep us together until then, okay? That's good news, sir. I'm going to have to take a close look at a few things, though. We'll need to take the stellar drive offline until I can run some diagnostics. We'll be without several systems. Understood, Bugs. We've got plenty of time before we have to be at the Jupiter base at Callisto and pick up supplies. We'll get there, sir. Just want to make sure we can make it there without blowing up in the meantime. Captain, we are coming out of the storm now. Excellent. Finally. Bugs, we're clear now, so you can go ahead and take the stellar drive offline. Aye, sir. We'll still have maneuvering capability. The hydrojets and the emergency sh generating shields are available, but that's about it. Understood. Hurry up, though. We're not much more than a sitting duck out here. Captain, I'm picking up an unidentified ship on the sensors. It appears to be coming out of the storm also. Can you tell if they're having any trouble from the storm and may need help? Can't tell, Captain. It's reading rather strange on the sensors. Strange? What do you mean, Yarba? It's almost like their drive system reads the same as the plasma in the solar storm we just came through. It's like their ship runs off the magnetic reconnection of the charged particles. I've never seen a drive system like that. Lieutenant, send your data to Engineer Bugs. I want him to see that drive system. It's something I don't think we've ever encountered before. Captain, there was a spike in their energy. I think they're arming weapons. They're firing! Brace for impact! Lock weapons and return fire! Sir, weapon systems aren't responding. They're preparing to fire again. Engineer Briggs, where are our weapons? Captain, the weapons are powered through the stellar drive. They're offline. Also, you're using the emergency shields. They won't last long. Briggs, bugs, we're in trouble. Captain, we have an incoming transmission from the ship. Open a channel. At least we can see who's trying to blast us out of space. I am the Zalatar. Surrender your ship or be destroyed, you puny creatures. This is Captain Tempest of the vessel Volanus. Why are you attacking us? I am the Zalatar. I attack you because I attack you. I am the Zalatar. I will drink your blood and feast on your flesh. Now surrender as I grow impatient. Zalatar, if you have some grievance with us, we can try to work something out in a peaceful manner. I need weapons, Briggs. What species are you, anyway? I am a Zalatar. Either you be my slave, or you'll die. Well, this conversation is going nowhere. Bugs, status. Just a couple more seconds. Lieutenant, as soon as those systems are online, target that ship with everything we have, and fire. Ready, sir. You've got everything. Fire! Sir, the ship just blew up. What? I know we hit it, but I would never have thought that it would have blown up with their energy shields. With the way that ship was powered, 
I'm not sure what type of shielding they had. Well, at least we have our sensor records. Maybe we can figure something out from them. Since the Stellar Drive is back online, let's get back on our way to the Costello. Aye, sir.